Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use routing path attribute to create cable information or highway. So I've placed here um, just three DT06 uh, connectors and a few splices. I've also, just to make life a bit easier, I've put a few of these um, connection lines um, as such and a couple of splices as well. So uh, I'm just going to populate them a bit more, I'll connect this splice up and um, we have a situation where you might want to um, show multiple uh, routing paths as such um, but you want to break down the individual cores now you can see here as I try to connect it uh, I'm creating a loop so down the bottom it's it's giving me an error saying that loop um, so what I need to do first is go to my settings or press S on your keyboard uh, under connections I can tick here which says allow net loops uh, the other thing I might as well do while I'm here, actually no, I can't do that yet, I'll just click OK. So now I can actually uh, do individual calls, so I've got um, a few here, like so, um, and then I might even do one more. So um, uh, actually here as well I might just do a couple so with these splices, there's going to be multiples coming out of it. And again, I want to identify, or in this case, I want to show uh, um, what's going where, essentially. Um, so it's pretty clear. Um, so when I've done that, actually, I might even just break it down a little bit more, just so it's pretty clear. So now that I've done that, I can use my multi-connect and I can connect these uh, pretty easily, like so. And then I can do the same for these. I can use my multi-collect, select everything, and then go that way. So it's a bit easier if you draw these lines out first. That way you can just multi-connect and, and um, connect them that way. So I've got my, um, I guess, my path of where I want things to go. And then I can adjust that a little bit. I can move this over here um, to make it look a bit neater. So um, at the moment I've got nothing assigned, I've got just a, a path as such, it doesn't really mean anything, um, but then we can go from there. So um, where we want to do here is, is create a cable uh, and route it as, as necessary, um, but that being said, um, there's a couple things we need to do first. So. Uh, I'll show you what currently happens. So if I just go insert and cable, um, I'm just going to create a cable one and then just give it um, 12 cores to begin with. Uh, so if I go to my device table under cable, cable one, if I expand that one out, you can see here I've got my 12 cores. Uh, at the moment, there's nothing defined. Uh, I can go to my um, wire properties <coughs> and under cable cores, select everything and for example I want it to be a one and a half mil square and then I'm just going to make them all black um, but absolutely you can define them individually um, and then there's nothing as far as what's connected where anyway so um, but what I want to do is uh, I want to specifically um, show in the middle uh, what goes to the splice and what's individual etc so um, Currently, if I pick up a core and go right-click, connect cores, I could say uh, pin 4 to pin 12. And you can see here the path that it takes. Um, the thing that we want um, to isolate, rather, is if I go connect cores and I go pin 1, and then I go to pin 1 again, you can see it's done the same one. So now I'll just put this out. Uh, this attribute to see. So what I really want to do is have one core here and if I hover over you can see cable 1, pin 1 and, and, and core 2. Um, but I want to have different ones on different lines so um, what I need to do first is create an attribute. So I'll just undo a couple of these so they're unassigned again. Um, so if I go tools, start database editor, open up my database editor. Um, what I need to do now is click format 
attribute names and I'm going to create a new attribute. So what you do is go straight down to the bottom uh, under here and I'm just going to call it routing path. Uh, with the name, it can't have any spaces, so I'll just underscore path and then, oops. Okay, great. I guess I can delete it. Let me just, uh, I'll delete it and redo it. I forgot to delete it before. So delete attribute, okay. So I guess here, like I said, routing underscore path, and then give it a name called routing path. Okay, it's filled it out automatically for me. Um, you can have spaces obviously in display name. So under owner, this is the important one, uh, you need these three. So if you find it, um, for example, cable, and then press the right arrow, and then you can bring it in here. So we need the owners to be cable, cable core, and net segment. Um, meaning if this routing path applies to those particular ones. So once I've done that, click OK, and it's going to ask me to save the database. I click yes, uh, and then yes, because it's not undoable for the deletable ones. Um, so once I'm here, if you right click on a folder, you need to do update configuration in project. What the configuration is going to do is going to update the attributes um, that exist in that, the project. So if I press S for settings now, and the connections, uh, cable or core wires, um, you can see uh, here this says up the uh, attribute for schematic routing if I tick that and then I'll be able to choose my routing path um, attribute uh, which I've just created here uh, but assuming you've updated it saved it and then uh, hit apply if there was something that existed you could select that uh, reroute according to new setting um, but um, we'll just leave it blank so what I'm going to do here, uh, with these ones it doesn't matter, uh, the, the cable is going to automatically understand where it goes, so I'll just uh, leave that blank for now. Um, but what I want to do is I'm going to call this one A, yeah, well I'll start from here actually, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. So if I right click on this segment, go connection properties, um, and then here where it says net segment properties, I can go down and all of a sudden now I've got my routing path. And I'm just going to call it A, and in this case, I'm going to tick it just so it's obvious. Uh, but in reality, you probably want to do it. Uh, connection properties. Um, uh, where are we? Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll just define one, and if it's undefined, it's going to be default to the lower value anyway. So I'll do that one, and then I'll go connection properties, um, B, routing path. Oops. Routing path B. Oops. Sorry, no, I need to do it. I'll tick that so it's visible. Connection properties. Routing path B. So basically what I'm doing here is telling it or defining the different parts for the different cores. Um, so routing path, yeah. G. And obviously I'm forgetting to tick some of them, but I can go and change that after. H. So to rectify the ones that I haven't, I can select, hold down shift to select multiple, go connection properties, and then I can just check this one. I'm not going to type anything, otherwise it's going to overwrite it. Similarly, uh, you could have just selected all of them and then um, uh, picked up the attribute and then populate, and then you just type them in one by one. Um, but nonetheless, they're all there now.
So uh, the other thing I'll do here is uh, actually I'll move these out the way. Um, I'll actually place my attribute. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to go, um, I'll just do the core name and I can use this button here on the left, insert text template. Otherwise I can do this short uh, shortcut uh, forward slash. Um, so if you just double click on it, it'll let you do it repeatedly so I can place them uh, as necessary. So you can see here um, what's passing through what. So once you've done that, you just press escape and then it'll let you go out. So if I go here to my um, device properties uh, here for each particular cable core, uh, if I select one and I'm just going to say, uh, actually no, the first one is just going to go to my splice. So I can go from pin one to splice one and then that one's going to be from pin, say pin one here uh, to splice two. Um, so again, you can see uh, what goes there. Uh, similarly, just do these so they're clear. What's passing through what? Okay. So at the same time, um, now I want to break it out um, from here. So A, B, C, D. So this one's going to be A, B, C, D. So basically speaking, it's going to define which is going to go through there. So if I go through those and go to my device properties, if I select um, three, uh, actually I'll do a more A, B, C, D. I go writing path. So A, B, C, and D. All right. So now if I go to my core three, connect cores from um, splice four to one, four to two, you can see it's automatically taken that path as defined um, by my uh, attribute. And so forth. So you can see pretty quickly, um, it'll actually identify uh, what's what, what goes where, etc. So again, I'll just do a few of these um, just to show. Again, I can just do them all first, routing path. And it's going to be, okay, so E, F, G. H, I, and J. I'm going to leave it at that so I can probably get rid of this one. Um, So you'll see it will highlight in the gray the path that's required um, for that particular one. Yeah. Oops. Similarly, you can actually um, go to your uh, connection table like so, and then you can actually just point it to what's going where. So for example, this one, I'm going to do X3 uh, pin 8, and I'll do it to X1 pin 12. So X3 8 and X1 12, and hit apply, and then you'll see it goes through, and then it should have come through here in my J, which I've defined as well. So I'm doing it one by one this way, but I guess the easiest way is if you go to your device properties and under the wire connection, um, under the table here, you can define it, um, what it's going to, you know, to and from information. And of course the splices, um, splice X4 and X5, um, if it's going to there as well. So X4 and X5, uh, in this case, is only one position for the splices. Um, 
So that'll give you a bit of an idea. In this case, I am just showing the cable core so you can show. I've done them all the same color, um, but if you had that symbol, if you had them defined at different colors and then the symbol was defined as um, cross section and color. Oops. Um, then you could show the cross section of color um, for each particular one uh, as such. Or again, you can do them anyways um, with the core. Um, these tags are attribute driven. Um, you can see here, and there's nothing, so there's no. Um, so you can create your own custom uh, whether you want it to show the, the cross section color and the core name, etc. Um, in this case, they're all black, but if you wanted to have a tagline or whatever else, at least you can identify. Um, so it gives you a bit of an idea how to use attributes to create, um, I guess, more detailed cable information, specifically when it comes to splices, etc. Um, and that should give you a fair bit of an idea. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave me a comment. Um, thanks for watching.